ladies and gentlemen, to the organizer and participating researchers, Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. I am Suryati Binti Ibrahim from Polytechnic Kuching, Sarawak. I am going to give a presentation about students' perception and challenges towards online learning during COVID-19 pandemic. For introduction, the current COVID-19 pandemic situation has changed the teaching and learning method from face-to-face -face methods to online learning. Online learning to replace face-to-face -face learning occurs abruptly during movement control order or MCO period. As a matter of fact, as this online learning wave is a recent development, lecturers as well as students are in the process of adapting this new teaching and learning methodology. At this prevailing uh, situation of virtual teaching and setting of new normal of teaching and learning methodology, it becomes all more important to get to know the opinion of learners and to explore learners' inclination towards uh, this teaching methodology. This study aims to analyze the students' perception and challenges of online learning during COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, this study also conducted to determine the effectiveness of online learning from the perspective of students and to determine whether there exists a significant difference of students' perceptions on online learning method based on gender. Literature Review A recent study by Haya M. and Adnan W.H. Challenges faced by public higher learning institution students in Malaysia using online learning includes the internet access, the internet costing, in conducive learning environment, and the effectiveness of virtual learning. Puwadi et al. in their study found that students perceive the online learning during the COVID-19 pandemic as ineffective learning method, unpleasant learning environment, limit the self-actualization in education, and encourage the students to become more independent in the learning process. Bush 1995 in Muhammad Jalas, in the 1990s and early 1990s, studies on gender revolve around the student self efficacy issues, uh, including the use of computer, which showed relatively significant differences between genders. Moreover, the findings of Muhammad Jalas et al. indicate that female students have more skills and learning strategies that help the learning process and preparation to face their exams as compared to male students. Methodology the study used a quantitative research design to collect data. The respondents of the study consisted of 267 students of Diploma in Civil Engineering Program, Polytechnic Kuching, Sarawak. This study used a questionnaire as a tool to collect the stipulated data. The survey instrument consists of 20, 23 questions which divided into four parts. Part A is the demographics of respondents. Part B, the students' perceptions of online learning. Part C is the challenges faced by students in online learning. And Part D is the effectiveness of online learning. Part B, C and D questions measured using five Likert scale rating uh, range from strongly to strongly disagree. The data were analyzed using statistical package for the social science SPSS version 20. Descriptive statistics were used to analyze the respondent's profile and the perception and challenges. A pilot study has been carried out to determine the reliability of the questionnaire. The Kronbach alpha value is 0 0.850, which is good. Mean score interpretation used in this study uh, adapted from Muhammad Najib as in Table 1. For low level, a mean score 
1.00 to 2.33 for moderate level uh, 2.34 to 3.66 uh, high level 3.67 to 5.00 This is results and discussion. This pie chart uh, shows in figure 1 is demographic information uh, of respondents based on gender. 55.1% uh, of respondents are female and 44.9% of respondents are male. This pie chart shows the demographic information of respondents based on level of study. 15.4% of uh, respondents uh, from semester 1, 12.4% respondents from semester 2, 11.6% from semester 3, 34.1% from semester 4, and 26.6% from semester 5. This bar chart shows the demographic information about uh, own computer or device with internet. There are 255 of respondents have their own computer or device with internet uh, and 12 of them uh, not have uh, their own computer or device with internet. Table 1 shows the students' perception towards online learning. The result evidence that the average score obtained from students' perception of online learning is average mean score, which is 3.2, hence indicating the students' perception towards online learning during COVID-19 pandemic is at moderate level. Table 2 shows the result for the challenges faced by students in online learning. All 9 items have shown average mean score equal to 2.95. The findings of this uh, study indicates that the challenges among st students in the implementation of online learning during COVID-19 pandemic are at moderate level. Table 3 shows the results of uh, the analysis of effectiveness of online learning. All 5 items tested uh, shows high level score with average mean score 3.83. This analysis show shows that the effectiveness of online learning during COVID-19 pandemic at high level. The following hypotheses are formulated uh, to determine whether there exists a significant difference of students' uh, perception on online learning method based on gender. For hypothesis now, there is no significant difference in perception of students towards uh, online learning between male and female students. As you can see in the table, the t-value for the gender comparison is uh, 0 0.855. Meanwhile, the p-value is 0 0.393. P-value significant level was greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, the null hypothesis is accepted. This indicated that there was no significant difference between both male and female students based on online learning perceptions. Based on this study, this is conclusion and recommendation. The results of the study found that students' uh, perception towards online learning during COVID-19 pandemic is at moderate level. The findings of this study indicate that the challenges among students in the implementation of online learning during COVID-19 pandemic are at moderate level. 
Besides, the results of the study found that the level of effectiveness of online learning is at a high level. Hence, the findings uh, suggest the, that online learning and teaching provides new opportunities via the e-learning platform, considering time and place factors. However, this method requires a strong commitment from all parties involved. It is hoped that the results from this study could assist the relevant parties for future improve, improvement for online learning. Thank you very much for listening to me.